Welcome to the Meyer FDE tutorial video. In this video, you'll learn about Meyer, the model inventory of roadway elements, the Meyer fundamental data elements, FDE, and how to use the available Meyer FDE graphics. Data are key to making sound decisions on the safety performance of roadways. Critical safety data include not only crash, but roadway and traffic data as well. In 2010, the Federal Highway Administration, FHWA, published the Model Inventory of Roadway Elements, Meyer, version 1.0. Meyer provides a comprehensive listing of roadway and traffic data elements and a data dictionary that serves as a model for a robust inventory to support data-driven safety decision-making. Meyer is a recommended guideline of data elements that states could collect to develop a comprehensive roadway and traffic data inventory for safety management. Since FHWA released Meyer 1.0, Safety analysis techniques have advanced, and both the safety and data communities have developed an increased awareness of the importance of quality data in safety analysis. Additionally, there are now federal requirements for related data. In response to these changes, FHWA initiated a reassessment of Meyer 1.0. The reassessment has resulted in Meyer 2.0. Meyer 2.0 features a revised format to reflect agencies' transitions to modern database environments away from siloed datasets. The updates in Meyer 2.0 also include additional operational and design elements that have become more widely implemented since FHWA released the previous iteration of Meyer. Further elements in Meyer 2.0 were updated to better align with other federal databases and requirements across FHWA, including the Highway Performance Monitoring System. The Moving Ahead for Progress in the 21st Century Act required the Secretary of Transportation to establish a subset of the Meyer and ensure that states adopt and use the subset to improve data collection. This requirement was continued under the Fixing America's Surface Transportation Act. The FHWA established a subset of the Meyer as part of the Highway Safety Improvement Program Final Rule, effective April 2016. This subset is referred to as the Fundamental Data Elements, FDEs. The Meyer FDE is composed of 37 Meyer data elements. The selected elements define segments, intersections, and ramps with unique identifiers and locations, shown in green, characterize the roadway type and exposure, shown in blue, or identify governmental ownership and functional classification for HSIP reporting, shown in orange. Recognizing the challenges states would face in collecting all 37 elements on all public roads, FHWA tiered the FDEs based on functional class and surface type. This tiered system has three categories, non-local paved roads, local paved roads, and unpaved roads. The states must have all 37 FDEs for non-local paved roads. The FDEs for non-local paved roads are further categorized into data elements for roadway segments, intersections, and interchanges and ramps. Only a smaller subset of nine of the FDEs are required for paved local roads, consisting of only segment-related elements. Intersection and interchange ramp elements are not required for paved local roads. An even smaller subset of five FDEs are required for unpaved roads, consisting again of only segment-related elements. Intersection and interchange ramp elements are not required for unpaved roads. The FDEs for non-local paved roads are shown for segments, intersections, and ramps, color-coded based on their purpose. The HBMS full extent elements are shown with an asterisk. The subset of nine FDEs required for local paved roads are shown here. The subset of five FDEs required for unpaved roads are shown here. Each year, states will be asked to report progress toward meeting the Meyer FDE requirements as part of their annual HSIP report due each August, using a template provided by FHWA. States may contact FHWA division offices or the Office of Safety with any questions pertaining to the Meyer FDEs. The FHWA Office of Safety Roadway Safety Data Program website provides an overview of Meyer, as well as details on the elements and available resources. In addition, FHWA has also developed a series of interactive illustrations 
to help further demonstrate each of the Meyer FDEs and provide additional detail. They can be accessed from the Meyer website. They are also available at https colon slash slash safety dot fhwa dot 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 gov slash FDE. As shown in these illustrations, the FDEs are tiered into elements for non-local paved roads, local paved roads, and unpaved roads. For non-local paved roads, the FDEs are further divided into segments, intersection, and interchange elements. For the segment elements, you can select if you want to view the elements required for non-local paved roads, local paved roads, and unpaved roads. Once you select the category of elements you wish to view, you can see the list of Meyer elements that fall within that category on the bottom right. Each gray box contains the name of an element. Click on any of the elements to see more information about it. When you click on an element name, such as route number, the box to the right will display the definition of that element and the attributes used to describe the element. Any additional needed detail will be provided in the notes. The illustration will demonstrate further detail for each element. Also, when you click on the Data Element tab, an example of the data element will appear on the graphic image. As you can see, Route Number 54 appears on the image when the Route Number tab is clicked. This type of example will appear for all of the data elements. For any FDE that is also required by HPMS, the title box is notched in the right-hand corner. There are eight FDEs required at intersections for non-local, functional class paved roads. The eight elements include basic identifier and location elements, AADT related elements, and basic geometry and traffic control. There are 11 FDEs required at interchanges for non-local functional class paved roads. The 11 elements include basic identifier and location elements, geometry, and ramp elements, including AADT. As noted, a smaller subset of FDE is required for paved local roads. Of the 37 FDEs required on non-local paved roads, only nine of those are required on local paved roads. Those nine elements are all segment related and are shown in the box on the bottom right. There are no intersection or interchange elements required for local paved roads. For unpaved roads, an even smaller subset of FDE is required. Only five basic elements are required for unpaved roads, all of which are segment elements. They include segment identifier, Functional Class, Begin Point Segment Descriptor, End Point Segment Descriptor, and Type of Governmental Ownership. For any questions or further information, please contact Bob Pollock, the Meyer Program Manager at FHWA. Thank you for watching this tutorial video. Please visit https colon slash slash safety dot fhwa dot 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 gov slash rsdp slash meyer dot aspx for more information on meyer and the meyer fde illustrations